we're introducing a topic called progressive overload. And this is the idea that the body will respond to a stressor that's placed on it. And so if I apply 10 pounds of weight uh, to my left thigh, and I'm challenging that muscle, my, my quadricep, um, in the future, my body knows that it needs to be ready for that load. It thinks it's coming again. So it will actually prepare and mobilize more resources to build strength in that area. So the next time I come back to that, it's ready to handle even more. And this is a foundational concept that we use in our programs and also why your program might look similar from week to week. Because to see an adaptation or change in the actual muscle or body, we need to progressively overload the tissues that we are trying to strengthen. And this is why actually doing the same weight, the same reps, the same exercise uh, can be good or bad. Now we actually want to progress a few of the variables and that the variables can be the amount of sets that we're doing, the amount of reps that we're doing, and also the weight that we use. When we adjust one or two of those variables, we're actually applying more stress to the system to elicit the adaptation that we want, which might be strength, power, or actually the, the size of the muscle that's called hypertrophy. So progressive overload, uh, a scientific principle that we use here at More Than Movement to progress your training and to progress your progress uh, to make sure you're getting back to where you wanna go.